from St. Mark's School in Bucks County. They just entered the classroom. The show lets students try to prove that they are, in fact, smarter than their teachers. The best schools, they always have awesome spirit sections. Bucks County showed up. What's up? Yeah. They're here. They want to see this game. It's winner take all on the cash and bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, I'm a teacher. I'm calling it Pop Quiz. <laughs> coming except on this show because it's always first teams grab your buzzers we have a minute and 30 seconds on the clock we're gonna get through as many questions as we can each correct answer it's worth 10 points if you buzz in first wait until i call your name to answer if you get the question wrong a contestant from the other team they're gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal those points all right we ready to play here we go time starts now what item is thrown on the field by the referee if a player commits a penalty in football Miss O'Neill. A flag. Correct. Which U.S. state's nickname is the Empire State? Sierra. New York. New York. No excuses. Let you be right and treat myself are songs by what artist? Uh-oh. Quick stump here. We're looking for Megan Trainer, guys. What is the closest planet to the sun? Sierra. Mercury. Mercury's right. Nice one. What TV show features a boy named Ryder and six dogs who all work together to help people? Sierra again. Paw Patrol. One of my favorites, absolutely. What is 18 <laughs> divided by three? Mrs. Del Rossi. Six. Six is right. Nice answer. What show and fashion dolls feature high school characters named Frankie Stein, Draculaura, and Claudine Wolf? Mrs. O'Neill. Monster High. Yeah. Along with Georgia, what other state borders Florida? Sierra. Missouri. For the steel teachers, Miss O'Neill. Louisiana. We're looking for Alabama. Good try. In what Fred Gibson book does a 14-year-old boy named Travis bond with a stray yellow dog who protects his family from danger? Lily. Pass. Teachers for the steel. Mrs. Del Rossi. Old Yeller? That's what we were looking for. What 1992 animated Disney movie is getting a live action remake in 2019 with Will Smith in the leading role? Mrs. Bowling. Aladdin. Aladdin is right. Teachers, nice start. Nice start for both our teams. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Let's take a look at our scores. Teachers in the lead with 50 points. Students trailing behind with 30. We're off to a great start. And we have the students and teachers from St. Mark's School in Bristol, Pennsylvania. Home of the Lions. Let's meet our teams. That's where we're going to start. Lily, team captain, $500 on the line. If you guys win, where's it going? Um, so there's these things called Spiro Balls. And so, like... I heard about these things. <laughs> and they're these little balls, and you can code them, and they can follow the coding. You're not worried about robots taking over the world? <laughs> no. All right, cool. Well, good luck today. I hope you guys win that. You guys, guess who we have here today? The president of the school. Is that a big honor or what? Yeah. Are you, it's a lot of decision-making for you? Yeah. How are and things are going this year? They're doing okay? I heard you brought some constituents out here. Yeah. Big shout-out to the front row. What's up out there? You guys ready to do this? Great basketball player. What yeah. position do you play in basketball? I play forward. Are you sorry? This is the only thing that matters. Can you dunk? Of course. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Real hard too. All right. Yeah. And I hear you got a little, uh, you got a little scoop on something that goes on over here. Yeah. Uh, well, Mrs. Del Rossi uh, likes to do her late dance whenever we're late for class. Del Rossi dances if you're late to school. That yeah. sounds like a, that sounds like a gift, right? Yeah. You stay right there. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Angelina, good to see you. Eighth grade. You guys went big this year for Halloween. Tell me about it. We did. We had a. Halloween escape room. Ooh. And we all dressed up, got our makeup done, and we scared a lot of people. Did. And we made little kids cry. That's, <laughs> that's what Halloween's all about. Make little kids cry. I'm scared of these guys. Hey, give it up for these three right here. The challengers, the teachers, you guys are here to defend the honor. Mrs. O'Neill, $500 on the line. If you guys win, where's it going? Um, we want to update our faculty room. Nice. R what do you need? 
Um, we just want to make it a little bit more relaxing. Hurry. Maybe a new Keurig. We all need oh, those, right? Nice. Maybe a nice. flat screen TV so yes. you can watch the classroom at of noon. Course, of course. All right. Well, good to see you. Your second grade teacher. I Tell am. me about this mystery reader. They were kind of cluing me in backstage. Yeah. Um, I do a mystery reader. I try to get parents in to surprise the students, give clues leading up to the day that they'll come in. The kids love it. You just booked me. I'm coming in next Monday. <laughs> oh, all right. Good to see you. Mrs. Del Rossi, you are the late dance queen. So you guys, do you want to see this late dance? Yeah. What this looks like? All right. Mrs. D, hit them with it. I drop a beat, but I don't know oh what gosh. beat we drop. We don't have a beat. Um, we're late. We're late. We're late for the important date. No time to say goodbye. Hello. We're late. We're late. We're late. <laughs> So anytime someone's late, you have to do that? I do it when we're running late. Start, start showing up late every single day. She's going to go with a concussion. All right, Ms. Bowling, good to see your 7th and 8th grade sirens teacher. But the, they told me you were just a straight pyro. I like to blow things up. So it's what fun. was the last thing you blew up? A pumpkin. And which, of course, guys, she's spirit. a science teacher, so she's allowed to do that, right? Of course. All right, well, look, blow this game up today. $500 <laughs> on the line. Bragging rights against these three teachers or these three students. We're going to rock it. I hope you guys are ready because we're going to send somebody to detention. Let's do it. <laughs> detention. Have you guys ever seen her blow something up? Yeah. It's pretty um, cool, right? That's yeah. what makes a good science teacher. Anybody that actually... It's just always good for science. All right, guys. Put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds aside if you want to play or if you want to pass. If you choose to play, answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, be careful because they can send one of you. If you pass, the other team must answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everybody to detention, they're going to win 40 points. So here we go, students. We're going to start with you. Category is animals. Play. Ooh, this is a good one. What is a baby bear called? Cub. Cub. Cub is right. Breaks the ice on detention. Now be careful because you get to choose a teacher. Make sure you choose the right one. Who's going to detention first? Miss Del Rossi. Miss Del Rossi out of the game. Miss Del Rossi, you're late. You're late. You're for an important date. All right, number six. Headed over here. Teachers, categories, fictional places. Sure. We'll play. play. Here you go. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, and the Lost Boys live in what magical Never. world? Neverland. Fire right back. That's right, teachers. Keeping pace with the kids. Looking over here, guys. Which one of these three students is going? Sierra. Bye, Sierra. <laughs> Detention's called your name. You're out of here. And just like that, we're down to two apiece. Ladies, your category is English. Pass or play? Play. What type of sentence is used to issue a command, make a request, or offer advice? Deep in thought. Imperative. It's an imperative question. I love that. And they pound the nuts. They knew it. Nice teamwork, guys. Who's going? You guys are just, Ms. you're not even Bol smmiling. Miss Bolin. Miss Bolin, you're out of there, which leaves Mrs. O'Neill by herself. It's getting packed over there. This game's getting tight. The good news is, here's the category is on you, Mrs. O'Neill. How do you feel about science? Mm. I think I'm going to pass that. She's going to pass it. She's kicking it over to you, Sierra and Angie. Here you go. What type of low, gray, uniform clouds tend to cover much of the sky and develop horizontally? These two work together nicely. They're always in convo. Ready? Your answer? Cirrus. Incorrect. Stratus is what we were looking for, which means good pass from you, Mrs. O'Neill. Who do you want to send? Leave it at one on one. Um, Angelina. Angelina's out of the game. Lily, Mrs. O'Neill, all that's left. <laughs> Lily, category is yours here. This is a big one. Big decision on whether you want to pass or play here. Months of the year. Play. The 100th day of the year occurs in what calendar month? April. For the win, April is right! Mrs. O'Neill, get 
action button to catch him. Students, you are officially released. Give us some high fives. Let's take a look at our score. Students in the lead with 70. Teachers trailing by 20 with 50. We're going to be right back to see how well our contestants can spell. Go! Answer! Boom! To the classroom today we have students and teachers from st mark school in bucks county they're battling it out right now the score is tight students in the lead with 70 points to our teachers with 50 and there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win so let's get right back into it spell check here's how the game's gonna work we have two minutes on the clock when i call your name step up to the microphone i'm gonna give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it if you get it correct you stay in the game if you say a wrong letter at any point you're officially out if your team eliminates every player from the other team you're gonna win 30 points but if the clock runs out each player left standing i'm a nice guy i'm gonna give you guys 10 points just for making it through the round so let's do it spell check time lily your first word is index i n d e x Good start. Mrs. O'Neill, scope. S-C-O-P-E. Margin. M-R... Ooh, sorry, you're out. Digital. D-I-G-I-T-A-L. Allergic. A-L-L-E-R-G-I-C. Coyote. C-O-Y-O-T-E. Broccoli. B-R-O-C-C. O-L-I. Nice. Had to think about it. Way to work it out. Neutral. N-E-U-T-R-A-L. Ostrich. O-S-T-E-R-I-C. Out of the game. Down to our last student. Lily, you got to hold it down. Essence. E-S-S-E-N-C-E. -S -S Prophecy. P R O. PH, I'm sorry, which means teachers are going to bank 30 points, bringing you guys up to 80 for the game. Students with 70. We're not done yet. Come on back for picture day. Hopefully those smiles stick around during our final exam. The classroom's still in session, but we come back. Students versus teachers from St. Mark's School in Bucks County. I've, I've partnered up with my friends out here because you guys have been having too much fun today. Am I right? Oh, yeah. They've been rocking. All right, I'm highlighting this one right here because this is the cutest mascot I have ever seen. Usually you don't see the face. Tell me what you were going for. Like, I got the greatest smile. We're not covering that up. Is that kind of what you were feeling? Um... Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what happens. That's right. Hey, give her, look, give that smile right. Get, look at this. Can we get a close up on here? Look how happy she looks. She's the greatest mascot in the world. All right, keep that smile on because it's time we take it to the round. It's picture day. That is the greatest mascot smile of all time, and I'm calling it right now. Teams, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues one at a time. With each clue, we will remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in and correctly identify the picture, they're going to win 10 points for their team. If you get it wrong, a member of the other team is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today. Here is your first. This large animal is a herbivore. Lily? T-Rex. Is it a T-Rex? <laughs> Teachers for the steal. Buzzing if you know it. Mrs. O'Neill? A brontosaurus. Is it a brontosaurus? <laughs> Second clue. This hairy animal is extinct. <laughs> Mrs. Bowling? Mammoth. Is it a mammoth? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Nice. <laughs> It's a relative of an elephant there, relative of an elephant. Guys, get ready because here is picture number two. This character lives in a cave. Here we go, second clue. He has a dog named Max. 
not giving us much there. Clue number three, he tries to ruin Christmas for Whoville. Mrs. O'Neill. The Grinch. Is it the Grinch? The Grinch is right. Back to back for the teachers there. Nice round. We got to get the students back into it, guys. Here's picture number three. This star's real name is Stevens. This star's real last name is Stevens. Clue number two. In 2018, he won an Emmy Award to add to his list of Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Awards. Clue number three, all of him loves all of you. Sierra. Um, John Legend? No. Is it John Legend? Yeah, that is exactly who it is, John Legend. The silkiest fingers on the piano. Hey, let's take a look at our scores. Teachers in the lead with 100 points, but students are trailing right behind with 80. Both teams still have a chance to win because it is time for our final exam. Wow. The topic of today's final exam, oh, it's beautiful. It's colors. It's colors. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points. Teams, you're going to work together. Write down your answers during the commercial break. But first, no writing quite yet. Here are your questions. Question number one in the final exam. In art, there are three primary colors, yellow, red, and what color? Your second question. For another 100 points, what color-based nickname was given to the British soldiers during the Revolutionary War? The last question of the final exam, what color are the evil minions in Despicable Me 2? Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers in just a couple of minutes. We're going to see which team will ace their final exam and come out on top right here in the classroom. But hey, these guys might be here today. I want you here tomorrow. Here's a look at how you can be a part of the classroom. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Classrooms. We have students and teachers from St. Mark's School going head to head right now. The scores: teachers are in the lead with 100 points on the board. To our students, 80. The topic of today's final exam is colors. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget, guys. Each correct answer, 100 points. Now let's see who aced their final exam. Going to take that money and bragging rights back to their school. It's been a good game so far. Teachers versus students. Your first question was in art. There are three primary colors, yellow, red, and what color? Students, we're going to get all of yours here. Your first answer was? Blue. And blue's right. 100 points to you, bringing you up to 180. The second question in the final exam is what color-based nickname was given to the British soldiers during the Revolutionary War? You guys said? Red. Red coats is what we were looking for. We were looking for the color-based nickname. You had the color right. You had the paraphernalia they were wearing wrong. What color are the evil minions in Despicable Me 2? Lily, you need this one. Pad the score here. You guys said? Purple. Purple is right. I love the smiley face, too. She knew she had it right. She dropped it in there. All right, you guys feeling all right going into this into, with the teachers here? What would it mean to take that back to your school? You guys beat the teachers. Bragging rights. Bragging rights. That's what it's all about, right? Which teacher are you giving it to the worst? Mr. Rossi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Mr. Rossi, you better hope you get these right. Okay, in art, there are three primary colors. Yellow, red, and what color? Teachers, you have to get two of the three here. Blue. Blue is right, bringing your score up to 200 points. Mrs. Del Rossi, how would you handle that? These guys are all over you. What do you, what do you say? I make the math grades at the end of the year. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly right. You hold all that power. All right, now listen, if you get this right, teachers, you don't have to worry about bragging rights because you're taking the money and that back home. We're going to get a new toaster, a microwave, and a flat screen. <laughs> Here we go. What color-based nickname was given to the British soldiers during the Revolutionary War? You guys said... Redcoats! Redcoats, and they are your winners today! The big $500 is going back with the teachers. 
to St. Mark School. Come on out here. Get out here. What a game. What color are the evil minions? Did you guys have purple right? They had that one right, too. I want to thank you guys for being here. $500 is going back to St. Mark. Join us next time. We have new students, new teachers, and a whole nother game. We'll see you guys next time. You guys are great. Nice one. Whoa.